Greetings, fellow man. Servus, Männer. Red Pill Germany here. Today this is gonna be a rant about this stupid viral math problem from Japan that I just heard about the other day. The problem ran as follows. Um, 9 minus 3 over 1 third plus 1 equals surprise 1. Just, ah. I got so angry when I read that article. They apparently do similar surveys or exactly that problem actually. They post to uh, the Japanese public somehow and uh, apparently in the 1980s still 90% of Japanese adults, of people over 20 years of age, were able to solve this problem correctly. Now I think it's only 60% that can solve this very easy problem correctly. The only thing you actually have to know is that uh, plus and minus comes after multiplication and division and that uh, if you have a double fraction you just flip it around and that's it. That's all you need to know. Yeah, so it's 9 minus 9 plus 1 equals 1. Ta-da! And you don't need to be a scientist or some kind of rocket scientist or genius to be able to, to solve that. But um, the way that they report that, oh man, like, oh, if you can't do that problem correctly, don't you worry, you're in good company, I always sucked at school, Albert Einstein was said to have sucked in math at school, blah, 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 bullshit, Albert Einstein did not suck at math, he was a brilliant man and he was really, 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 really good at math. In my school time, for example, constantly like these left-leaning female French teachers trying to give mathematics a bad name, you know. They always talk bad about mathematics and that only evil men are good at math and you should do arts and you should do, learn languages, blah blah blah. The funny thing is that I've never heard a science or math teacher talk in any way, shape or form bad about uh, arts or about uh, foreign languages. They always said, oh yeah, foreign languages are really important, you should study foreign languages. I love art, I love to go to the museum. Those math teachers were really nice guys, but these lefty, I don't know, these hippie baby boomer French teachers, ah. Oh. So just that I make myself clear, I think every adult that went through high school should be able to answer this math problem at hand here correctly. However, I don't expect everyone to be good at math. Not everyone needs to be a scientist or something and do really advanced math. That is really just for the specialists. Uh, please don't all become engineers. It will just decrease my wages then. Uh, I'm quite happy at the moment. But um, the thing is, sometimes people are accused for not knowing something or they're, they're talked down to. Like uh, you bring your car to the mechanic and then the mechanic says, Oh, you should know how to do this. Oh, no, I'm not a mechanic. You are the mechanic. You know, that's your specialty, your field of expertise. And not being able to do this math problem in terms of cars would correspond to a car owner, a motor vehicle owner, who doesn't know where to put the gas. That's what that would correspond to. Uh, not asking them to exchange the alternator or to fix the brakes or something. No, he just has to know where to put the gas. That's the, the basic level we're talking about here. Or IT, for example. Yeah, I'm, I'm not an IT guy. I don't know that much about computing and, and about uh, network safety and whatsoever. But I do know how to switch on my computer. And, you know, and this is the basic level stuff we're talking about. But lately, it became became so uh, fashionable in a way to, to, to publicly announce that one can't do math really. And I, I mean, math is of course not as important as reading and writing, obviously, because if you, if you can read, uh, and I mean really read, I mean functional reading, not just being able to make sounds out of letters, that's not reading, I mean understanding a text. If you can do that, then you can learn anything. You don't need teachers. You're not dependent on other human beings. Eh? Thanks to the book printing and the book press. Eh? Thank you, Gutenberg. Uh, you can just grab a book and you can teach yourself anything. And this is this is the most powerful skill in the world: being able to read and being able to teach yourself anything. 
so I'm not saying mathematics is as important as that because it's obviously not because if you can read then you can also teach yourself mathematics so reading I think is the ultimate skill but um, I think in today's world with, with all this technology and all these science issues that we're dealing with uh, and I think mathematics becomes even more important but instead of getting better we get worse at mathematics and it became fashionable and chic you know to, to say oh I suck at math I always used to oh, I don't know math I cannot even do it I always hated math in school Tee it's nothing to be proud of this is almost like someone saying that oh I cannot read you know oh I always hated reading in school I never liked reading and actually I cannot really read but <laughs> who needs reading anyway right <laughs> no one does that it would be embarrassing if you just say I'm an illiterate you know no one does that but in terms of math and we're talking about basic fundamental math here uh, it seems that no one has a problem to publicly uh, announce that and maybe here lies the problem that uh, it is considered okay not being able to perform this basic level math and I think that's a big problem because if you cannot do math in today's world you have to believe every person. You become a sucker. You become a victim, basically. I mean, what do you believe then? But maybe this is exactly what the politicians and the elites want. They want us not to being able to figure out stuff for ourselves. I don't care if it's climate change or the inflation or fiat currency or whatever. Yeah, get your tinfoil hats out. But I believe that they want us to be mathematic illiterates. They want us to suck at math so that we have to believe all the bullshit that they're saying. I think the, 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 the ultimate act of rebellion would be to become really good at math and understanding quantitative rational issues. And let me just finish with a little side note from a person from the West who has been working for a couple of years in the beautiful country of Japan and was told for many, many years that we Westerners have just inferior brains and the Japanese brain structure is so superior to the Western one and we are good at math, every Asian person is good at math and Westerners suck and they're so stupid and they just don't get it well. I am good at math and you guys suck now officially too because your education system sucks and you're not superior you're just studying really really hard and don't get me wrong I love Jap Japan and the Japanese people and I respect them and they are extremely smart extremely high IQ people however they really study like bulimic chicks eat they just they binge study and then they have their written standardized tests and then they forget everything again and this this is so interesting with this math problem they were asking adults over the age of 20 if they had asked 15 year olds or even probably 7 year olds they would all have been performed really well maybe 100 percent of them would have solved the problem correctly however they asked adults and with their bulimic studying methods they were not able anymore to answer this correctly because they binge studied and then they forgot everything they vomited it all up again after their stupid final uh, test was over okay so it seems like I can finally say so, a great day to all illiterates, real and mathematical. Uh, have a good day. Servus, Kameraden.